we bought this house about eight years ago and it was um, a real project. When I was designing the renovation, I really wanted to have a really kind of spectacular entryway and I wanted tiles. I was a decorative painter in New York City for many years and so I would, I would hand paint floors. Well, I didn't really want to do that because it's kind of a back-breaking process. At the time, cement tiles were sort of becoming all the rage. I really wanted wood, but I did want the pattern that the cement tiles allow. I accidentally kind of invented this wood tile. So we figured out if we could digitally print them, that we could create the look of a hand-painted wood floor. My favorite part of the whole business is doing um, the designs. The creative process all kind of happens here. We start out with the original idea or the original concept. And usually for me, that is something that, um, you know, I've seen in my travels or it's a color that I like, oh my God, I think that's going to be the next big color. Let's make a tile out of it or something that I just want for my own house. then it's just a matter of painting it. And I actually like to paint it right on the wood. because I can really make it look exactly like I want it to. Like I can sand it down and I can repaint it and it'll look like, you know, it was a hand-painted floor that maybe was painted 200 years ago. Something about the tactile feeling of the wood and the, the idea that I can sand it and bring in the colors from underneath and give it that natural patina. It takes a couple million dollars worth of equipment to make this tile a perfect square. There's no tolerance because there's no grout. They have to match up perfectly. It's a seamless installation. So we do a little tweaking on the digital end. And then after that, there are a few trade secrets that I'll keep to myself, but <laughs> after that, they go to the printer. That's a pretty cool process because that's another big expensive piece of equipment. <laughs> and it actually like sprays on the ink and it's similar to a printer you would use in your home, um, like a color printer, but it's just a very high tech one. And then once we end up with our prototype, then we can run a whole order, which would, you know, two or 300 tiles at a time. And then those get sent back to the wood flooring factory and they get a commercial grade wood finish. Because at the end of the day, these are floors that people are going to walk on. So they have to be super durable. It has to last forever. And then they're packed up in a box and sent off to our customers. I spent just a lot of time, you know, searching through my memory and my photographs of things that I had seen on my travels and kind of put together a concept, which we're calling the Wanderlust Collection. Having this business is very natural for me. It's like, you know, it's my love of interiors and my love of art combined in one. When I look back on my career path, it's all, it all makes sense. So one night I just woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, mirth, huh, I wonder. It's kind of a funny word because it means happy, whimsical, but with a little, something a little theatrical about it. <laughs>